Well, as David was just mentioning, shares of some well-known retailers took hits today. That's because several of them, as he mentioned, cut their profit estimates for the latest quarter in the full year. The hardest hit was the upscale yoga wear retailer Lululemon Athletica. It fell nearly 17 percent after citing already weak sales in January. Retailer Express put the blame on weaker holiday sales, and PVH, which owns clothing brands like Calvin Klein and Hill Hilfiger, warned on Friday of too many promotions during what it called a very competitive holiday season. And then there's Target. It's still suffering from one of the biggest security breaches in retail history. And now the company's CEO is apologizing to customers for the cyber attack on their credit and debit card information as he tries to reassure shoppers that it's safe to come back to his stores. Becky Quick has more. This is the first time that Target's CEO, Greg Steinhoffel, has spoken publicly about the breach that, at the high end of estimates, affected as much as a third of the American population. His tone was one of contrition and apology. I found out on, on Sunday. Sunday was really day one. It was in the morning. Sunday, what was the day? Sunday, December 15th. Okay. And that was the day that we confirmed that we, we had an issue. And so our number one priority was do the right thing for the guest. So it was about making our environment safe and secure. We worked very hard on that. And by six o'clock at night, our environment was safe and secure. We eliminated the malware and the access points. And so we were very confident that coming into Monday, guests could come to Target and shop with confidence with no risk. Monday was about, or, or the day two was really about um, initiating the investigation work and the forensic work and we initiated that that moved in and that has been ongoing day three was about preparation we wanted to make sure our stores and our call centers could be as prepared as possible and day four was notification so throughout that four-day process to some people probably felt longer than that we worked around the clock to try and do the right thing it's a uh, very challenging times for target I can tell you that uh, uh, it's a real punch in the gut but uh, throughout this entire crisis, we've had a singular focus on really doing the right thing by the guest. I mean, we're a company that has been here for 51 years, mm -hmm. and we've focused on the guest, and we've made the guest our priority for that entire time. So we knew that we know that that our guest trust in us is shaken, but we also know they love our stores, they love our brand, and we're going to learn from this experience and work really hard to become uh, even a better retailer uh, over time. The big question is when shoppers will feel safe coming back into the stores. Greg Steinhoffel says that as of Friday, shopping trends were almost back to normal. But of course, that was before the latest admission that personal information for up to 70 million shoppers was also compromised. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Becky Quick.